And then um, moving on to the uh, n nuclear deal. General McKenzie told the uh, Armed Services Committee that from everything that he can see, uh, the IRGC is a, a terrorist organization. Is the White House willing to delist the IRGC from the foreign terrorist organization list in order to get a deal with Iran? We're still in the negotiations, so I'm not going to speculate or outline from here what the final details look like. And these are likely the the group responsible for firing missiles at U.S. facilities in Iraq. So as long as Americans aren't killed, are there are there no consequences for something like that, all in an effort to get a nuclear deal? Again, you're speculating on something that is not even finalized. The deal is not finalized. What I would note, and I would just go back to why we're negotiating this deal, and right now we're negotiating this deal because Iran's nuclear gains are threatening U.S. interests. There's urgency to taking steps to contain that, which is why we've been engaged so closely. And that is all the result of President Trump pulling out of the deal and Iran moving closer to having the capacity and acquiring a nuclear weapon uh, and speeding up their breakout time. So we are here thanks to the actions of the last president and the last administration. And it is in our interest, it is in the global interest, to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. 